Okay, my lane is moving really slow. I think there are three lanes here. The one to my left and to my right have been moving pretty fast, but mine's been kind of stuck. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. I feel like um, I feel like it's gonna go well, but what if it doesn't? What if I get stuck in Mexico? But my visa was approved. This should have everything that I need. This right here has all my information. It has a new, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, how wide it is, but this thing is huge. And it says that this is my immigrant data summary. So this has, uh, they should have everything. They should be the ones to open it. And they'll probably check some documents. They'll probably figure out that, oh yeah, this guy's work visa was approved and he is able to get back to the US. And I think that uh, I don't think I, I'll get my green card right away. I think that that's going to be uh, sent to the address that I have on file, which is my mom's address in Texas, just because that, I think that's the best place for it to be sent. If I put somewhere in Washington, uh, like where I'm staying at currently, there's a chance that I might move. I'm at an Airbnb, I have an Airbnb situation in Washington right now, and it just would not be the best idea to get mail there because so many people are coming and going on top of the fact that, you know, maybe there's a chance that I have to move, something like that. So I did put my mom's address. I confirmed that that is the address that they needed for where the visa would be delivered. So that might be kind of important. That might be kind of a good tip for somebody else who is going through the process and who is also in between places or in sort of temporary places, uh, like in my situation. So we'll see. We'll see what documents they give me. We'll see if they let me through and if I make it back to the US, I have a 12 hour drive ahead of me. So I'm a little, let's see, I think it is, it's, it is noon right now. So that'll be a crazy drive, but I should be able to make it. I got a good night's rest and I'm excited to go home. I hope it works out. Yeah, some lines are moving kind of slow and I imagine it's probably because some of them have documents like I do where they're gonna have to, it doesn't look like they're telling them to pull over at the border checkpoint uh, coming out of the valley. I've sometimes been asked to be, so they'll kind of put you aside while they still have people uh, pushing through the, the checkpoint. Here, it doesn't look like there's a good place for them to ask you to pull over. So you kind of have to pause the line every it just has to wait until the documents are processed so that's one thing to note you kind of just have to get lucky and hope that your line you know nobody has some documents like i do that need to be checked and inspected and who knows if they'll have to go through my car so i brought uh, a decent amount of clothes because i was here for about two and a half weeks but i knew that there's a chance it could go into like a month or even longer if so there's still a chance that I could stay in Mexico for months, like literally months. That would happen if for some reason these documents don't add up, if for some reason, you know, there was some confusion somewhere or, you know, things just didn't work out for me. I'll have to go back to Mexico and I'll have to be there for, you know, months until we could figure out what the issue is and how to get back to the U.S. So I did bring a decent amount of clothes for that reason. So I do have, and I don't have that much stuff in the car. I, I'll show you because there's still a, still a really long wait here. So that's almost all my stuff. It's not packed. Uh, some of my stuff is packed. A lot of it is just kind of left there because uh, some of it is, it's just a mixture of stuff, but it's all clean. And I have a few more stuff in the trunk. Not that much stuff. Like I think I have my boots back there. So if this does not go well, then I'll be ready to keep on living in Mexico for a little bit. Uh, but my goal is to get back into the US and I want to live in Mexico down the road for a while. That is still the plan for, for a year. I think living in Mexico for one month has really changed my perspective on a lot of things, on what it means to uh, work hard and you know not really not really have much to show for it i think mexico showed me that man um 
we have a really good in the US. Living in Mexico for a month showed me that we have a really, really fucking good in the US. It is wild how different the disparities in between poverty or even just the regular working class person who works for a minimum wage or a little above that and the disparity between them and the everyday average minimum wage or slightly above minimum wage employee in the US. The disparities are so ridiculous. It's barely comparable. The lifestyle and the life that you could live, the quality of life that you could have in the US as even just a minimum wage worker compared to uh, Mexico is just very different. And I'm, I'm grateful that I got to spend uh, my childhood and growing up in the US now that I've sort of seen the difference and now that I've seen for myself um, how difficult it really is. He stepped away and he's giving the document to somebody else. They're asking me to pull over over here. He handed the document to somebody else. kind of parked away from everybody else in a place where I can't really go yeah. forward. We'll see what they say. Alright, just turn off your vehicle, sir. Follow me. And now I go this way. Yeah, you'll pull up to that white line on the ground right there in front of the stop sign. White line on the ground. I see it. I see it. Thank you. Thank you.
feel really dizzy. Maybe that's gonna fry. graduated from college I remember that I was in the car with my with my brother and my cousin and we we're just playing music and that's that's what it feels like just just crazy that it happened and for so many years I've been waiting for this so many years is what I've been working for so many years I spent so many documents and so many years I had a I had to wait and I had to do everything I could to make this happen. And it finally happened. Oh, thank you.